picture that. A black man learning to love himself. <laughs> wow. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. My highs, lows, my dark lights. The awesome kid, which is Asante Price, who's going through a lot of adversity to get to the top. He's the typical kid that's starting from the bottom, now he's here. That is facts for his life. Um, I can say honestly, this is a lifestyle for us. Ball is life for us, for real. Um, we don't take it as a play-play thing, um, and I don't allow everybody to put their hands on their life. Um, I would say that our, our normal average day starts off at 5 o'clock. It didn't stop because Asante went to Georgia Tech. It continues on because he's an example for his brothers and sisters always. I don't have to look outside the box to find an example for them. He's a real quiet kid. He's really, really humble. Until you put him inside those four walls of the basketball court, those lines actually change him. Um, I didn't have a dad that taught me basketball. I'm a preacher's kid, so they want you to play music at the church all the time. So everything that I learned, I had to grasp. And so I had to take what God gave me and give it to my son, who entails, passes it on to his brothers and sisters. It's a, it's, it's a trickle down effect. We call ourselves eight price six. Why? Because we, we, we believe in the primal act of it. We believe in the fundamentals of the game. I can honestly say if any coaches out there that knows the Santi or any people, if you ever watch the game of him, he never changes his facial expression. If he shoots a three in your face, he may do the little treyway sign, but other than that, his facial expression never changed because he understands that when I'm in this court, I can't do anything to distract my team from winning. Now, I can say so many things about this kid from being humble. Um, I think he's only got one discipline slip in his whole life, and that was in elementary school, and he got that for, uh, cause he gave his lunch money to another kid, and his grandma was the principal. So, <laughs> she was trying to teach you don't give your stuff away, but that's the kind of kid he's always been. He'll give you the shirt off his back. He does work hard. He's, we've trained him so hard, and we prepared him so hard, following after the greats such as Ray Allen, uh, Reggie Miller, you know. Uh, you would have to say he's one of the best shooters Probably, and I'll say it, he's one of the best shooters in the country right now. He was one of the best shooters in the country last year. As a matter of fact, I, for me training him, and I'm not saying because of my training. No, 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 no. The kid puts in work at home. Um, that kid, you, as a little kid, I remember running down the streets in, in Orlando, Florida, um, off of Pine Hills, Crime Hills, and the old lady sitting on the porch screaming, saying, baby, you going to make it. Baby, you gonna do it. And we was running two and three miles at the age of seven, eight, nine, and ten. Five o'clock, you know what? He never cried. He never complained. He always finished it out. He would outrun me. It's, that's just his nature, makeup. His whole character is all in everything that he does, from the way it's the poetry emotion, from the way that he walks, from the way that he talks, the way that he shoots the ball, the way that he acts, even when people get in his face. You find out what the character of your kid is at birth. How do you know? Because little things are drawn to him. And I didn't even have a dad to tell me that. I had to find out on my own. So I had nothing but the trust of the Lord. Um, and we, our family is really, really heavy on that. I am called the bulldog of the family because I'm direct and I, I am to the point. And you got to have, I, ha I have a help me to my beautiful wife, Latanya Price. Mommy is, uh, mommy carried while we went through. Um, she's a teacher and educator herself, so he he's has the educational background. Uh, mommy was the person that would, he never cried, but she would always say, son, it's going to be okay. Dad is just trying to prepare you for the future. And... When people ask me when we first got here, so what you think your kid's gonna be? And I said, when I first came, I said, my son is going to the ACC. And it, it, it's a building process in your life. You know what I'm saying? He got a little bit bigger, he got a little bit more stronger. He found out he didn't have to worry about the limelight of other people around him. He had to depend on himself. So when he came back home and he said, yo, dad, I've got a big school calling me, Kansas State at that time. He said, I wanna go. And I said, son, you got one more extra year of school. People don't even know that. He's only 17, and all of this is happening in his life. So when I'm talking about Asante and, and I say things like, when people ask how your kid's doing, he's doing awesome. He bonds with everybody. You know, I've never seen him get into a fight with anybody. I've never ever heard of that. And so I don't have to look for, like I said earlier, for another example for his brothers and sisters because he's that. He knows who he is, he knows where he's going, he knows how he's going to get there, but he has to have a strategic plan for his life, and you got to be able to trust God that he's going to be able to supply all your needs. And Santi honestly believes that.